I'm doing it. Alright, what's it doing? Is it up on the YouTubes yet? Oops, is it up on the YouTubes yet? Fitzy, can you check? Is it up on the YouTubes yet? Oh, I think I heard it on something, but... Oh, I think I heard it on something. Can y'all hear us? Oh, I think I hear it. Yeah, it's up. Sweet. Okay, everybody, welcome! Yeah, it's up. Sweet. Okay, um, everybody, welcome! Okay. Let me X out of that because I'm hearing myself twice. Alright, <laughs> so, welcome to, uh, this is the, um, Baxter's qualifying race where the top 12 in this race will move on to the American 700 and the winner will get a year's worth of fried chicken from, uh, Richard Baxter's Chicken Emporium, uh, or from Baxter's Fried Chicken, um, Alongside of me in the booth today, we have a star-studded lineup here as they go out for final practice here. We're going to get started here in a couple minutes. Uh, we have today, um, this will be uh, Vince Freeze, our pole sitter for the American 700, is in the booth alongside of me. And alongside of him, you have Zachary Fitzwater, our Australian friend, who is also locked into the race. Say hello, both of you. What's going on, everybody? Fitzy, are you there? Uh, Zachary? Hello. There we go. Yep, he's uh, up here in the booth with us. And on pit road, we actually have a new member of our team that wasn't with us yesterday for qualifying. Sean Ard is a pit reporter today. Got anything to say right now? Uh, uh, it's good down here. Gonna have to have some protective heads on this. <laughs> All right, and then we will talk to uh, Scott Roush, who was in the booth for qualifying uh, in a little bit. He is going to be our in-race reporter for the uh, Baxter's qualifying race. Um, he right now is currently out on track, I believe, right now, with uh, six minutes to go and half. No, he's not out on track right there. Let's see if we can talk to him a little bit. Scott, how are you doing today? I'm doing good. How are you? Uh, well... We're doing all right. You don't have long until the start of the race. So, uh, what are your plans for this race? Not lose first. Oh, I'm now you're go going out. out of the pits now. All right, we'll see how this goes. All right, so Vince, what are your thoughts for this race? What are going to be the keys for this race? Uh, the first thing is the first 10 laps. Stay in the draft. The first key thing is if you lose the draft in the first 10 laps, that could be game over. Next thing, avoid the big one. We, you know, we got tight pack racing out here. Never know when the big one will strike. Yeah. And then the pit stop, right? The pit stop. Will the uh, underfunded car teams, can their pick crew step up? Or will the, the shines of the superiors? And also we have some big names like Monaco, Vanderpest, and Ralph to see if they can make it through. Uh, Zachary, you got anything right now? Well, this is going to be semi lap rice. It could be chaotic. I won't be surprised if anybody blows it up because it's a big one. That won't surprise me at all. So, um, Sean Ard, you've never been in an Arc Elite Series race, and we're kind of bringing you up into the booth now. We're not going to leave you as a pit reporter because we don't think there's going to be that many pit stops here. Uh, we're bringing you up to the booth for right now, uh, but you will be monitoring some of the pit stop activity. Um, you haven't done one of these open wheel or one of these big super or big speedway races in Arkansas yet. What do you think you can learn from this type of an event? Well, I would think I want to learn how to draft along with some people. As we learned yesterday in qualifying, we saw some people draft with each other, so we can spend more here today. Yeah, you're going to see a lot of drafting, I think, today. Um, uh, so what kind of setup do you think, uh, and anybody can chime in here, what kind of setups do you think these drivers have right now? Going, uh, first. In, going into this qualifying race, which, will you go more conservative, or are you going to trim it out to try and get top speed to maybe pull from the pack a little bit? I would go conservative until the first pit stop. Uh, you don't want to use your stuff up. I think tire management, it, it's the other factor we're going to have to talk about in today's race. You could burn up your tires. You could get that lead. But like I said, it's the pack race. You don't want to be out too far ahead. And yesterday with the slingshot, I perfected it well in qualifying with Cody. I got by him. And uh, if we had a bigger pack, he would have got by me. So it's important to just keep the drafting distance. Manage your tires. We'll get. Uh, we'll see what happens after that first stop. We're going to go down to Scott Roush for some last uh, second uh, talk before this race begins. Scott, 
What are go what's going on for you right now? What are you thinking right now in this race? Well, I'm nervous as all hell right now. Um, I don't know how this is going to fare. I have a few quick guys in front of me. Yeah, I have Not in front of you, behind you. I mean, behind me. Of course. The pace car looks quick, too, though. <laughs> so, um, do you have any uh, plans with any deals with other drivers to maybe work together to get up through the field here? What's a deal? Okay, have you made any agreements with other drivers in this field? I know you no, got Nathan Orman, your teammate, in this race. I uh, haven't made a deal with him. Uh, any other drivers like Jacob Hart, maybe? Christian Vanderpesh, Quentin Moore? Monaco. Monaco, um, for that matter? Hart, I've talked to. Nothing definite, but I think we're going to be fine. <laughs> All right. So, any other things you want to say before this race starts? Wish me luck, I'll need it. <laughs> Alright, we'll talk to you maybe if there's a caution in this race, we'll maybe get a hold of you for this event here. Um, anybody else got, we have 90 seconds, we have just over 90 seconds before the green. Anybody got any, or before the cars roll off, anybody got any comments about uh, what you, they think they're going to see from this race? Sean, got anything? No. Uh, Zachary, it's you've been, you. you've been a... You've been a big um. You've been in a lot of American 700, Zachary. What are you gonna expect from this uh, kind of qualifying race? Nervous, nervous moments. Um, what do you mean by nervous moments? Well, it can go either way. You can be on it, or you can get wrecked trying to get on. So, yeah. <laughs> I always get those anxious moments when I think I'm gonna get in, gonna get in, gonna get in, and then it goes up and f up and smoke. Uh, Vince, what are you expecting from the on-track action? We've seen a little bit of drafting work go on and qualifying. What are you expecting from the on-track action? Covers and going, covers and goers. I'm gonna definitely look at the drafting distance. We got guys like Washer in the back, and Nathan Orman. Remember, Orman and Anderson had problems in qualifying. Did they get their cars fixed? And they maybe they struck a deal in the back. And we also got to watch out for people, like I said, Eric Monaco, uh, CDVP. Uh, his Red Bull has been slow, but is he better in the pack? And as far as the action, you just never can count on a guy like Washer or, or one of these experienced vets like Hart and Roush. Will they, will they rise to the top? And it's always 11 cars make it in, so you got, 12. You got some breathing room. 12 make it in. Or 12 cars 12 make it in. So you got some breathing room, but we also know that, uh, you, you, like Zach said, if you're one of the nine, you're going to have those moments every lap. So the crew chief's going to have to be on top of their game, updating the drivers every The second. drivers have also just started their engines, so we are going to get going here. Uh, what kind of, how do you think this is going to um, show? Oh, Jacob Hart might have a problem right off the oh, bat. Oh, no, here he goes. He's starting to move now. I was a little concerned oh. about Jacob Hart, but, oh, I was a little concerned there, definitely. He is catching back up. It just didn't look like that car wanted to fire right away. What are you expecting? Okay. Um, do you think this race will be indicative to what we're going to see in the American 700? Quickly, somebody? I'm going to say no, only because we have a lot of one-offs here. We have. I mean, I just think it's going to be more of a sprint dash. It's going to be aggressive every uh, yeah. lap, whereas the 700 will be more manager pace. And the green flag is coming out here in the American or in the Baxter qualifying race and away we go. Jacob Hart does not look strong. Oh, Jacob Hart does have a problem. Uh, yeah, no, Jacob Hart's got a big, big problem there. He's falling all the way through the field there. That's not a good start for him. I was a little concerned off the line for Jacob Hart and it looks like, um, well, Roush's drafting partner definitely has a big problem there. I think he's got a cylinder down. Or there's yeah. definitely something wrong with that card. Look at Eric Monaco. I don't even know where Monaco. he started, but he is all the way up to second already. He started wow. seventh in this race. So Eric Monaco does not want to play around here. Sean, have you heard anything from uh, Jacob Hart? It looks like he is coming down pit road. Do you hear anything from his crew? I, I have not heard anything. Just the car has just not been working very good, and they might be done today. And that's going to be right. awful. Oh, we got a battle for the lead yeah, here. Monaco. And Monaco's Monaco. going for the lead now. Wow. We're going to see also if Jacob Hart's going to be out in a second here. Or was it just a tire going down, possibly? 
He has Monaco's still not gone to the pits. Yeah, That's Eric Monaco's got a great uh, car there. Steven Thompson's also coming through the field. Uh, what happened with Jacob Hardy? He pulls into the pits. Is he going to fall out or not? Uh, looks like there's definitely... Oh, they're putting up the hood on that car. Tough break for Jacob Still Hart. Under. There's definitely uh, a problem with it. Here on. comes Roush coming back on the inside. So this kind of comers and goers things, we're starting to see it a little bit here. Zachary, you had something you wanted to say? We're four wide. We got four wide in the we back. We got four wide in the back. Four wide. Uh, oh yeah! Look at this pack back here. That's for the transfer spot around there. Let's we'll see. Um. And that is for, I believe. Yes, that is a right around the transfer position. It's going to be right there. Oh, did we see a car going way down low? That's Jacob oh, Hart that's coming Hart. back out. So they must have fixed whatever was wrong with that car. I'm not sure exactly what is. We'll get Sean Art on it possibly come up with an idea uh, or come up with uh what is wrong with that car oh uh, we also got chase dunbar there. and it, man this has been a competitive start to the race here eric monaco lead lap uh yeah monaco led that lap however chase dunbar and scott roush are really working the high line here although it looks like roush is going to try and go underneath here the three wide three wide yeah, those Audis of the 96 and 74, they are quick. We do know that. So, Jacob Hart is going to try and latch onto the back of the pack. Remember, he is two laps down, though, so he's gonna. it's going to take a miracle for Hart to make this race. He's a yellow. Scott Roush is coming back on the inside now. Um... Oh, looks like we also got a couple of other cars also coming close. That's uh, uh, Casey Nanco or Nanaco, Nanaco coming on the inside here. Remember, he, uh, uh, Vince, do you wanted to? Were you weren't in the booth when it happened? Were you when um? They, uh, yeah, I saw the, I saw it on the replay though. He got cucked by uh, Ray Hall. Ray Hall had a fast lap, came into the pits, and Nanco missed out. Otherwise, he would have been in the field. So Scott Roush has basically been in control of this race other than a couple of challenges from Monaco. Oh, here comes Eric Monaco for second here. Um, he got that car looks uh, trimmed out for sure. Or what, what's the uh, prognosis on Monaco? What is the crew saying now? Yeah, Sean, got anything? Uh, the car? Uh, Monaco, Eric, Eric Monaco, yeah. They're saying that Roush's car is pretty good. Oh, Roush's <laughs> car. <laughs> well, if, but then for, I just talked to the crew chief of Hart's car, they said a cylinder did go down, but they were able to fit it really quick. There we go. So it must have been a computer issue then, kind of messing with that a little bit there, because uh, it must have been an easy programming fix, probably just a reboot, and it was just firing on all cylinders. Again. Yeah, Eric Monaco coming on the That's inside. The lane. So right now, it's been the Monaco and Roush show at the front of the field. Uh, I'm surprised oh, that we're not seeing the two lot. Red Bulls coming up through the field. Are you kind of surprised at that? That you're not seeing Vanderpesh and Moore really Fizzy, challenge what, at the front? Fizzy, yeah, Fizzy, what's your thoughts on the Red Bulls right now? I'm not really surprised by this. Uh, Vanderpesh, that this is surprising. Moore, on the other hand, he's got a quick car. Um, I won't be surprised if he leaves. But, yeah, I won't be surprised how these Red Bulls can go quick on the straight line. Oh, looks like Roush underneath. Roush, Roush is going, going back, yeah. So this is the kind of stuff we're seeing right now is in between. Um, oh, we might have some radio conversation between uh, Scott Roush tour as crew chief. Uh, hold on as we get that up. We're just waiting on to Roush's mic to key up here. What in the world did a three car do from qualifying? He, how did he end up in this race again? And, well, that was the uh, Scott Roush talking to his spotter, it sounds like, there. Uh, kind of surprised that Eric... Yeah, one of the Audi. That's Chase Dunbar coming down there. Oh, here goes Vanderpesh and Tauger on the inside. Wow, Tauger. Vanderpesh is very aggressive. Remember, Tauger won the American 700 last year, so it's kind of a surprise that he's in this race. Also currently in this race right now, the last car is Delilah Montgomery. Somehow is currently qualifying for this race. Uh, some I think Montgomery did well. I think on the inside of the start when Hart was messing, made its way up. Had to be. It's kind of surprised that Leon Campana has not gotten through this order quickly either. That's a DNC car. 
You kind of surprised by that? Yeah. I'm very surprised. She's running with uh, Ormond trying to work to get her the trap, but that's not working. Where is Ormond? Oh, there's Ormond right there. Uh, working with Leon Campana. Uh, they both are um, trying to get through this foil, but I'm wondering what's going to be the benefit of possibly holding back now that we're single filing a little bit here? Anybody Fuel mileage. Fuel mileage? I think fuel and what, tires have got to be. Fuel mileage. He oh, here's Eric. 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 Oh, meanwhile, they changed. Up. Eric and Roush working together. Well, you also got Chase oh, yeah, Dunbar and Tauger coming on the inside. Three wide for the lead. We got Val there for a lead. Oh, four wide. Four wide. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Oh, wow, four, four wide for wide. this lead. And it's Chase Dunbar is squirrely there, and I think Scott Roush is going to back out of this here. He goes way high to let them kind of duke it out a little bit there. That's a very smart move, I think, by Roush there. Kind of, you don't want to go four wide too yeah. often around here. That very. Oh, right there they almost Roush. did there. Here comes the Red Bull. Oh, Vanderpesh is looking underneath, though. Vanderpesh is going now. He's being aggressive. I like it. Oh, Scott Roush chops the door on oh Vanderpesh. Oh, oh, Scott with the power aggressive move. He's going to go underneath for second. Roush He's looking for moves. that lead. He's got move underneath with uh, Vanderpesh for first with the draft. Let's see what he can do. And here comes Tauger's going to lead the lap, but Roush has really closed in now. However, Roush is trying to follow Tauger a bit here and kind of control that second position. As oh look at oh, this! Oh, oh, it's gonna oh my! God. That is Nanco Nanico on the Nanico. inside. And now we're four wide. Four Nanico's wide. got a four quick four. car. The one thing about Nanico, that car really knows how to lead. Oh, we almost went. Oh, oh boy! <laughs> this is death row oh, over, oh, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, Eric Monaco twitched a little bit there. Uh oh, oh the two Audis are trying wide. something. Almost. Four wide to one. Here we go. Can they make it? Scott Roush has got to be loving this behind him. Scott Roush and Trek Tauger do. Oh, what's what's uh what's Tauger's situation with the crew down there? What's they're saying about that car? He looks like he's out front pretty well. Oh. Sean, you got anything about the Tauger car? Uh, he's saying the car is really good right now, but he keeps. Flip flopping back between first and second, so he, he hopes not to be too far behind in the later stages, as said by his. And he's falling back right now. He went way to the outside line but there. He, he, here Quentin comes Moore Mr. The Chicken lane. himself. Yeah, Quentin Mr. Moore. Chicken himself, Quentin oh Moore. My God, Monaco almost made me free wide. Of course, Quentin Moore won the first Baxter's race here back when it wasn't the qualifying race, it was a consolation race, and Quentin Moore won that race and got. The fried chicken. So he has won the fried chicken once before. Oh, Monaco top to bottom. He's looking to go possibly full Monaco is very aggressive. I am very surprised by this. Eric for the lead. He's looking. Eric is looking underneath Tauger with help from Stephen Thompson in the 96. Let's go back to see what 12th is doing right now. Who is in 12th position? Oh boy, this is right in the middle of the Hornets nest. Alex Miller did get 12th. I believe he bumped Delilah Montgomery back. A couple spots. Who lost the draft back there? Who's losing the draft? Let's that see. was Leon Capanna, Nathan oh, Ormond, Brazenkoff, Anderson, Ozkin, and Washer have lost the draft. Of course, Jacob Hart, who's two laps go. down. Here goes Here's Eric Monica. Monica. Got a nice lead. Yeah, Monica. Nanico again with the Audi. Oh my God! I, no, Nanico's in a route. Yeah, Nanico's in a. Aggressive. V Nanico's in a um, Ford Mustang, and he's drafting with Chase Dunbar to get through this field here. I'm wondering what pit stops are going to do in this race, because keep in mind, this race is a full-length Arkansas Elite Series race, a normal one, this race is. It's about 70 laps, which is what we'd probably be running for a normal Arkansas race. In an Arkansas Elite Series race, obviously everybody in here has run a full-length Arkansas race. I know Ard's only run Portland, but... um. How long does that feel? Because they're on only about 100 miles, really, uh, typically. Uh, typically about an hour-long race. Um, what kind of endurance do you go through at 210 miles an hour for about an hour? If it goes green the whole it, way. It, yeah, it, it takes a lot on your body. I mean, the great thing about Fitzy and I, we both were very fortunate to run another uh, Enduro, the Indy 250. And the uh, I think we ran one, we ran one other race that was... Uh, 
longer than 250, but most of them are around 250, uh, 200 mile raises. They're, they're, they're stretches, you know, they're, they're stretches of energy you got to conserve. And these guys right now are experiencing that, especially when they get to that first piss out, there's no yellow. They're going to feel it. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised that we haven't had a yellow yet. Everybody's been minding their P's and Q's as oh, Roush is going Roush back for the lead Monica. again. The battle is back. Uh, Roush and Monaco have been, Roush, Monaco, and Tauger have been the class of the field today. Um, Got a Red Bull underneath, too. Here it comes for third. Let's see that is. I think it's either uh, Moore or Vanderpish. Who's been the biggest surprise for everyone so far that is currently kind of performing in this? Whoops, didn't mean to do that. Oh, it's got to be it's got to be Nanico for me. He's uh, first start ever. Don't know much about the guy. He's he's definitely outperforming. Right I'm looking at, um, let's say, your Chris Warners of the world and Grayson Ace Vito, who Ace Vito in the Renault was hardly anywhere all week, and now he is in the top 10 for this race. He's running 10th. He's won the Indy 250 before when he was with Patronus Honda, driving, uh, I believe, he was driving your car, Zachary, and he won the Indy 250 with that car. Uh, good to see the Renault Brigade that high up the grid. Is, ooh, looks like we've got uh, Ratzenberger's actually yeah, in this as well. As Nanako goes Steve underneath Bittman, Ratzenberger. Right? So Here. we have uh, one of the Red Bulls up front looking for the lead underneath Tauger. Also, Scott Roush falling back here. He got shuffled to the high line, and I he's on the outside. Yes, yeah, that's Quentin Moore. Quentin Moore, first time I've seen a Red Bull in the lead of this race. Chicken Boy leads the lap there. He won the fried chicken. Oh, Eric Monaco going top to bottom on Chicken Boy here. Here we go. Also, I Tauger was kind of shoving uh, Roush down a little bit there. As uh, oh, Tauger's got to back out, or else he's going to turn uh, Ma Moore there. Quentin Moore, Nanico's getting up to the field as well. Here comes Stephen Thompson looking on the inside. Of, oh, more problems for Jacob Hart. It looks like he, he is. Might be a lap car. Well, he is. He's probably going to be a lap car as this race keeps going. As up, Eric Monaco continues to lead this race. Monaco has done a great job after a really poor qualifying effort. I think he has the best car, Kenny. Look, just looking the way he's handling the turns and the straight line speed. He's the only car oh, that I've seen. Almost went five wide. Almost five wide. Can we go back, pan back oh, there? Almost went okay. five wide for third. It's like the Red Bulls are the, probably the most aggressive out of everybody, too. We're going to oh, take a look at this Roush. far camera here and see kind of just kind of what the fans are seeing on this far end of the track there. It's been a very tight quarters race, but there hasn't been a lot of um, contact in this race, which has been a good thing, actually. Scott Roush, that's the farthest I think we've seen Roush back. Back to down in, um, he, I think he's fighting for sixth, maybe, with Tauger. Vanderpesh is coming onto the scene as well, so where is 12th well, yeah, in this right now? 12th is Miller again, so right now Von Schaefer is out. There's one car in this pack that's going to be out right now, but it's all going to come down to making sure nobody crashes out of this race. There's also a big paycheck for if you win this race, too, along with the we fried chicken. Chicken boy. Chicken boy's in the lead right now. He's going is that going to be his new unofficial nickname, Quentin Moore's new unofficial nickname is Chicken Boy? He should be driving Monaco's car. Monaco's sponsored by Popeye's. Wouldn't it be, hold on a second. Wouldn't it be funny if the Baxter's Fried Chicken qualifying race would be won by a Popeye's car? Yeah, here comes Scott Roush on the inside. Oh, four wide. And that's a close four wide with Monaco there. Monaco and Moore. That was really close there. Is this the type of racing that we're going to see in the American 700 throughout the whole day, you think? Probably, yeah. I think it's a start. I think it's a start. But you got to remember, the mechanical failure is going to be key, so we don't know. It's going to be interesting. We saw it with Hart. Yeah, it is true. Look at the lead Tauger kind of pulled there for a bit. Tauger's kind of, oh, wow. That's Nanako Four coming one. up through the oh, middle there. Okay. That was a great oh, move by wow. Nanako, but he didn't seem to have any help with him. There comes Eric underneath Roush. Eric Monaco's going underneath Roush. Got no help underneath. Tauger's going to stay with Roush, looks like. Basically, this entire group just doesn't need to wreck each other, and they'll be fine as, um... Well, yeah, if I'm one of the guys like him, you got to take a pit strategy call. Two tires, that's the only chance you got. Or hope for a no. caution, really, at this stage. Yeah. Or be in before something blows up. Or, yeah, hope yeah, that you start getting some mechanical failures in this race, because those can really put a Jacob damper. Hart, maybe. Another Jacob Hart situation, yes. That's been the only calamity we've had today, has been Jacob Hart. 
actually. Yeah, is there anybody kinda... out that surprises people right now? Uh, for me, it's got to be Campana. I, I thought that car would definitely easily make the top 12. When we looked at the practice speeds and qualifying, we, it wasn't that far off. It's kind of shocking. What about Chris Washer? He's in an Audi, and the, the other Audis are right now battling for the lead, and Washer yeah, just doesn't seem to have the back. pace. Yeah, Washer's my big better. surprise. And they've already <laughs> bad lost the pack up front. And Cowgirl back in pit lane. Oops, or didn't no, mean to do that. I don't know who. Somebody was in I'm gonna write. Oh, we got a car pitting? No, or what, what are they saying at the front here? We got the front pad. Where does everyone, uh, the prognosis of when they're going to pit? Any ideas on front guys? Uh, no, not yet. I haven't heard much about pit stops, but they should be pitting pretty much near the halfway point of the race. All right, halfway, we got that intel. Um, so, I'm going to put out a little bit of a look here. Look at Alex Miller here in the Dell Pair car. I believe that's the only Dell Pair car that's attempted this race. What Are you guys kind of surprised that he's currently in it right now? In the Viper? Yeah. yeah. yeah that, with no, with yeah. no teammates and no uh, intel on the car the whole week, he's definitely doing a good job for a single car operation. That's for sure. A single car... There, I don't believe there's other than... Uh, I don't believe there's a single single car operation other than that team around here right now. Could be the uh, the good feel story of the week if it does make it. We'll see. Of course, <laughs> yeah. with the way that Ark saw, since the Australians have taken over the series, has gotten a lot more corporate, um, which is kind of surprising because I wouldn't have thought the Australians would have done that. But it's gotten a lot more corporate where there's multi car teams now, and it's very rare that we're going to see a single car team in Ark And right now, oh boy, that's oh, a tight three wide for the lead. And here we go. That's, and once going. again. Scott Roush is playing this incredibly conservative here, just kind of, he saw that Tauger was going there, so he slides a little wider, gives Monica Ooh. more space. Oh, it looks like we got and Tauger coming in. Somebody was looking Tauger. like, yeah, Tauger and uh, Moore are coming in. Oh, here comes Von Schaefer. Von Schaefer came in a little hot there, but he made it under the pit road speed, I believe. And here comes Oskin and a couple other cars. It looks like Oskin, Washer, and Campana are coming in. Montgomery's coming in as well. Are you guys surprised that uh, Montgomery's not dead last? No. I, yeah. I, I think I think honestly Montgomery just they had a good start on the car. And I think with the heart situation just kinda of worked their way up, but I'm surprised yeah. now nah, they're not that slow. Ooh, we got some almost some pit row contact. Yeah, oh, what are they yeah, saying? Contact. What's, what's going saying? on down there with uh what's going on down there with uh Trek Tauger there, Sean? Uh, they're just getting they're just getting a four-tire pit stop plus a full tank of gas just to make sure they can make it to the end of this race. Let's hope they can actually do, but this oh, is a little a bit group. earlier than expected. All right, they're, yes, we've got... So they're, they're probably going to need to pit again. This group's probably going to need to pit again, I'm guessing. This is going to be close, actually, if they're going to be able to make it to the end of the race. So this could actually come down to pit strategy here. Who's the current leader of this race? Did anybody else Who stay out? Because they could end up no. snookering here to get to 12th. I believe everybody has pitted now. You gotta watch Scott Roush and Eric Monica. Oh, contact coming out of the pitch between the oh, two oh, Cathnex oh, cars. Oh, oh, teammates getting into it. And um, Quentin, Quentin Moore with a bad pit stop. He is all the way behind Wolfstein von Schaefer. That was not a good stop by Quentin Moore. That was one of my keys in the race. Will the pit crews play a role? Bad stop by Chase Dunbar as well. He's coming out with Grayson Ace Vito and a couple other cars back there. Brazenkoff and Ormond are coming out together as well. With this race going, they're going to be having to save gas in this race as well. Fuel mileage. I said fuel mileage too. And top Monaco's of the got the lead now. Eric Monaco with the lead? Let's see. Oh, it's going to be close. Tower's up to speed. <laughs> Monaco has a big lead here. Yeah, you got it. Look at yeah, Nanko in third. Nanko in third. Great job by him with Roush now is trying to take it from him. So now we're going to see some more slipstreaming fun here. Did anybody really improve their position here? Dunbar is up to 12th. Ace Vito is now a car out. So um, Ace Vito is out. Who got in because of that? Uh, I believe that would have been... Where's Miller? What? Where's Miller? Is he still in? 
Miller is, I believe, in 11th, so he has worked his He's way so up. Good. Wolfstein von Schaefer with a really quick stop. That's what it was. Von Schaefer got a very fast stop. Got any That's idea? Is All right, uh, we're going to go down to Sean R. Did the von Schaefer crew only put two tires on that car? Yeah, they actually did. They put on two tires. Don't know really much why. I talked to the crew chief. They said two tires might be the best strategy. Well, that is going to get him firmly into the race, but can he hold off these leaders? Because he does not have the cornering speed that the other cars do. And this is where the handling kind of comes into effect here. He's only doing 198 down the straightaways here, and here comes Christian Vanderpesh. He's going almost five miles an hour faster. So Von Schaefer's going to have to play this game smart here, unless if he comes in early, also battle for second between uh, Trek Tauger and Scott Roush here. They're catching Eric. They're catching him. Yeah, I was going to right, say, uh, two-tire pit might not go well at the end, long term. Do you think, okay, Vince, do you think that was a good move to take a two-tire strategy? Because he's falling to the field like a rock here, Von Schaefer is. Yeah. <laughs> he's got a hope right now that uh, that he's the last guy. He's got a hope. I think what he's doing is I'm banking on finishing 11, 12, and me the last car of that leading pack. Otherwise, if that's not the case, he's going to drop like a rock, but... He's got to hope he's a 12-car pack, and right now he's in 11th, I think. He is right now going to be in 10th right now as Warner is battling with him. It's going to be close for him. Be very close. It might be a good call. The one car out right now is there's a battle between now it's Chase Dunbar is currently out over Grayson Ace Vito there. Yeah. Brazenkoff and Montgomery with Orman are closing in on these two cars as well as they're battling, so this could end up being a very interesting battle as uh, Brazenkoff, Montgomery, and um, Ormond are closing in on them. Let's go see what is um, some drivers, what are some people, uh, fans saying on the video? Anybody want to go look on the uh, main video to see what some of the comments are right now? Is there any comments on the video right now? Somebody gonna check that? Let's see what we got. Yeah, I'll check that. No problem. Looks like we have uh, Rip Anderson, Schaefer, and of course I'm slow. That or uh, sounds like that's an Ormond uh, fan down there. Typical. Typical. <laughs> Typical. Oh, well, here we oh, go. We got three wide. Uh, three wide for the lead. lead. That's Monaco, Tauger, and Roush. Now, if you were to pick three drivers right there that were in this race to watch, I'm guessing probably a good deal of you would have picked those three in this race. In the battle for the yeah, fried chicken. Yeah, I don't, I don't yeah. Know chicken boy, those three, those are the three I would have had, yeah. I'm actually surprised Vanderpesh hasn't come through the field either, but... Well, they keep drafting like that, and they work with Thompson. This They could... You know, we saw this in qualifying. They could easily strip stream back to the front. We'll see. We, we are going to take a look that. here. These drivers are definitely closing in almost by a half second a lap, these cars are, because they're working in a line, notice. And the these uh, battle for 12th has been a side-by-side -side slipstream fest. So there actually could be three cars here. Ormond, Montgomery, and Brazenkoff might be a factor to try and take over that elusive 12th bad, spot. Yeah. Yeah, they keep battling like that. So I think those Ormond yeah, fans were a little bit... I think those Ormond fans were a little bit premature there. And then also, you got to keep in mind, they've got to save fuel. Some of these drivers have got to save fuel, so... Uh -oh. I don't think anybody's yeah. safe, you know? I don't think anybody in this race is safe. Because if so, if 11 guys save enough fuel to go to the end... Oh, Monaco and Tauger nearly Ooh, made contact! Oh, oh, Eric Monaco's oh, wow. not taking any prisoners tonight. He's going for it. Wow. That was a very aggressive move there by Eric oh, Monaco. We got, we got the Red Bulls and Tops and all in the We've lost three and Banner Patch is... Oh, they caught him. Von Schaefer has rejoined this group here, so he has kind of slotted in. So I guess it does so pay well. off. It did pay off for him because he was out and now has just gotten himself in to uh, this race as well. So good job for both of them. Warner is out, and they're still battling side by side, and these drivers are about a full half second faster than them a lap. Our, what do we got going on the, uh, at the front here? I'm looking at the, the top three. What are they saying? Are they working any deals down there with the crew chiefs to work in the line? Because the Red Bulls uh, and the top are catching. They are, mostly they are trying to decide when they should go back in because they now know they are not going to make it. Oh. Oh, so we're going to have some... It sounds like they're pretty sure that they're not going to get fuel mileage. 
Now, my question is, is anybody going to try and make it? Because I am thinking that's a little... Back, yeah. I'm thinking that's a little premature to try and see if you're coming in so far. I think these cars might actually make it, but I'm not sure. It's going to be Meanwhile, really Vander close. Vanderpesh, Thompson, and more are coming for the battle for fried chicken. Now, keep in mind, all three of these... All five of these cars are basically uh, safe right now, unless if some uh, oh, crazy Monica. pit strategy takes place. Now, they are coming up on the lap or Jacob Hart. They're going to catch him before the end of the race. We'll see how yeah. they... Yeah. I was going to say the same thing. And it's so uh, much... Like these 10. drivers are so much quicker, the Orman group, but they're only about pet pulling in a half second a lap. So it is taking a while to get up there, but with these drivers going side by side, and once this, this back group catches the draft of one of these cars, they're going to close in real quick. We saw that with you in qualifying, Vince. What is that like coming yeah. up if you're, like, one of these cars a little further back, if you're Ormond or Brazenkov? Because it looks like they're losing Montgomery a little bit. Yeah, the closing rate's faster. I think this is the fastest closing rate far of the races I've seen. The closing rate's quicker. The one thing you got to be careful of, if you are trying to keep that momentum, don't, you know, don't stall out on the high line. Go low. Make sure you go low right away so you can carry the most momentum to the turn. And the best is just catch him down the straightaway and blow him off the draft. But I'm, I'll pose a counter argument here, though. What about um, the fact that losing, that diving down low also means that you have to come back up and you lose momentum through the center of the corner simply because the speed burns off? How much of a factor is that around here? And actually, we've seen at times where, in certain races, where the outside can sling around around this track. Does that yeah, happen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It could happen. Uh, the thing yeah. is, I think you got to be careful with it, is the tire. That it goes back to tire management. If we're going to be saving. Do the guys want to make sure the outside has better tire with their low line? It's going to be. It's going to be uh, strategic. It's like a chess match right now going on. Let's we'll see. And look at uh, look at the distance between. We're on board with Ormond, who's running fifteenth right now. And you can see how quickly they're kind of closing in. Brazenkov and Ormond are closing in. in. We're and coming down to side up side. Yeah. About tw we're coming closer to 20 to go, and those drivers are going side by side. Remember, that is the transfer spot up there. Between um, that would be who was that again up there? And, uh, Ace Vito and uh, Brazenkoff. Where is Chris Washer, by the way? Chris Washer is battling with Leanne Campana. Keep in mind, these drivers are also closing in on the leading two on those two as well. Uh, the back group is really closing, and that's Washer and Campana. Know, They're closing in as well. Let's go back oh, look, they've got a draft now. Hold oh, on. They've got the draft oh, now. Here we go. 34 6 there compared to a 35 0 and a 34 9. They are really closing in now. Those Orbit fans got to wait for a second. This, is, this isn't over yet. So that's your transfer. No, no, Remember, no, right now, Ace Vito is the transfer spot. And they've been working well together. Ormond has been very keen on keeping behind Brazenkov. And, oh, man, look how close they've gotten now. And there we go, right side there. by side. There we go. Striking distance. 34-7 oh for them, but it's only 34-5s for these drivers, so they're about two-tenths of a second faster right now. But remember, these two cars are battling side by side. I keep on my side by side. I gotta wear out the tires easily. That's a good point as well. We didn't even talk about that. As here they come, they're flying up onto the senior. Oh boy, that was a very aggressive move by Ace Vito there. We're gonna go up to the toward the front of the field again here to see what's going on. Oh, we got a oh, five car pack now as Vanderpesh hey, caught him. Vanderpesh. Okay, so we were watching this earlier too with Vanderpesh Thompson and Moore catching the leading pack. three. And they are coming up to Jacob Hart, by the yeah, way. Let's go back. But I think right now the big battle here is between these cars back here. Ormond, Brazenkoff, Dunbar, uh, and Brazenkoff has oh, got yeah. him. He's going to go. Brazenkoff is going to go. Oh, whoops. Didn't mean to go that way. Yep. Inside, like I said, he's going to the inside. And this he's is going to help Ormond catch up as well. Orman's car doesn't seem as strong though as Brazen Coffs, if you've noticed either. No, it's not. He needs a lot. He needs a bigger pack for him to he really needs make a miracle. Move. I don't know about a miracle. I think right now he's actually. No, he's gonna get it. Dunbar. He's gonna get Dunbar as uh. Yeah, he's gonna get Dunbar here. So, Orman is not out of this race yet. If Dunbar slots in behind him, he's going to get a killer run. Let's see what happens. So Ormond, so remember, the leader of this group is going to transfer in. 
That's the big thing. The leader of the group is going to transfer. We got both the Renos in this group as well. We've got um. Well, we got a memory came. Ace, I don't know about fuel mileage. Ace Vito and Brazenkov. If they go green, the rest. Of, if they can go through this distance, the rest of the way, it will be one of those two cars making it. We still have had no cars fall out of the race oh, oh, either. God, here we go. Well, here we Hart, go. Let's see. I know Jacob Hart. He is a typical lap car, but he looks like he's on pace with everybody else. So. That is a good thing here. He's not going to qualify the, for the American 700 unless if some real crazy stuff happens. True. The Capnex cars look pretty hopeless. They're going to get lapped here in a second. So CDVP, Tauger. Hold on one sec can... as well here. We're going to just go through the order here to see what's going on up front. Oh, we got Ormond underneath. Orm oh, Dunbar's going underneath Ormond. Oh, 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 Ormond had to back oh, way oh. out of that there. Now Dunbar will play very aggressive. Dunbar, very aggressive here, and we're... Now... Cough is, here, here we go. Here's the tray on the bottom. Here they go. That's Vanderpesh in the lead with Monaco oh, yeah. and um, comes Roush Rouse. coming as well. Ooh. There. I thought for a second Tauger was getting spun there as I was clicking off there, but... Yeah, I saw, I saw the same thing. Oh. Uh, oh, Roush is going underneath Monaco now. This is very, very close racing, isn't it? Moore is likely to almost like a loose the draft here. Jacob hey, Hart's trying, trying to get a lap back. Hart's trying to get a lap back to three lap. Lap. Think three laps down now or two? I'm trying to get two. He is three down. I'm trying to get back to well, two. Trying to get see. one of his three laps back. And let's take a look at the transfer position again. And Brazenkov Brazen has quite good. big control over that. Campana has slotted in front of Dunbar. And it looks like Ormond, I'm sorry, not Campana, Ormond has slotted in front of Dunbar as Ormond now is looking underneath the other Renault here Fredo. of Ace Vito, and he's not going to get oh. it there as okay, they're leaving Dunbar out to dry. Dunbar, of course, had a really bad pit stop because he was battling for the lead earlier, remember? Yep. Yep. Now, I'm wondering if this group is going to... No, this group is not going to catch them. This group is faster than that third group of Campana, Washer, and Montgomery now slow. they've actually Thank passed you. Delilah Montgomery. Oh, boy. Oh, we, the oh, leading group. Okay. <laughs> I like well, Quinn Moore's strategy here. Back up Hold back. That's a good now. move. That's actually uh, Vanderpesh on the inside. Quentin Moore's in the back oh, of yeah, that group. Oh, wow. Hold it back. I think that's a good move. What if oh, okay. Out? Sorry, my bad. Yeah, yeah. You're good. Hey, nice. fine. As Vanderpesh has proven to be a good car in the second half of this race here. How about Steven Thompson, man? P2, he, he's got some wheels right there. Yeah. Let's go back to this battle here. It hasn't been a big position change battle as Great Orman has tried to get by the 31. And but since the 31 and 21 are teammates, do you think that has anything to do with the fact that it's so hard for Ormond and um, Dunbar to make a move is because is is uh, basically the thirty one just sitting around and waiting. Is my yeah. big question. Uh, I think uh, they, uh, they got they, they got to pull they got to pull some type of slipstream off. What they got to do like yeah. they got to gang up on Brazen Coffee get one of them. Man. We'll see. There's Nanako. They've safe. they're well unless it's all remember there's still pit the possible pit stop we're talking about as well. So we're only coming to about 10, uh, 11 to go now. Actually, or what are they saying about the pit stop? We're getting close to that fuel mileage window. What we got down there? Yeah, yeah, we are getting near it. They might Anyone go, saving? They might try to start saving, but that might not. It's still a possibility of them going down pit road. Okay, we heard it first. We're, we're going to see fuel mileage is in, the, is in play. And our running side by our nuts. I know, right? Single file. Well, yeah, that single that file's going to help them. If anything, the two cars I'm the oh, most worried about... More lap cars. The, oh, the two cars I'm the most worried about are Dunbar and uh, Ace Vito, because remember, they were battling that whole section, as finally we have um, Dunbar and Ormond uh, have Ace gotten Vito. by Ace Vito, so I wonder if they're going to start chasing down a Brazenkoff there and possibly battle oh, for Brazen. the... Uh, lead of this group here and get that position that they need. As I'm sorry to cut you off there, Kenny, but Brazen Call looks like he's the only one that can have like a three, four, tenth gap and still hold it. He looks, he looks unstoppable in the front of the pack. 
Well, could that be just because this back part of the group has been battling so much for that 13th spot to try and control who can yeah. make a run at getting in? Because Orman now has control over 13th, and now he is he's going for that elusive run. 12th now to get into the race. Meanwhile, at the front of the field, they are coming up to lap traffic here, and this is going to be the most hairy time for them. Because these cars probably will slot into the pack here. It's Anderson. And I think these cars are definitely going for a fuel saving run. Anderson and Oskin are. Ooh, Oskin underneath. Oh, here we go. They're going to block the Honda. They're not really they're doing what they're supposed to do. That's fine. They're doing what they're supposed to, and they're blocking Hart, if anything. So that's probably the best car to block because he's two laps down. Meanwhile. Oh, boy. Brazen cough. Oh, my. That was a. Bad move. They can't figure it out. This is helping out Ivan. Dunbar. Dunbar's going to run away with this now. Well. Unless they run out of fuel. Pit. Fuel's the key. Fuel is going to be a big factor in this race. Huge. Well. Oh, the front pack looking menacing. Now that Oskin and Anderson have caught a pack finally. They are going to come up to Delilah Montgomery here it looks like as and well. Campana. Roush is playing as well, try to win this race. Just staying behind, minding his P's and Q's. He's got a buffer because Hart's in third right now. He's not in the lead half. I wonder, good. is Scott Roush going to try and go? For, is, is Scott Roush just more concerned with getting into the race, or is he going to go for the fried chicken? We'll see. Makes it both, actually. Yeah, yeah, well, to go for the fried chicken, you got to win the race. Is it worth risking? Is the free fried chicken for a year worth risking your American 700 chance for it? Well, we're gonna about to find out because here comes Ralph. Yeah, we're all right, to find out. <laughs> Trying to find out who wins chicken. Yeah, he's holding base, waiting for Hart. Oh, here comes Montgomery. Uh, there. Delilah Montgomery is gonna be a problem. Here we Delilah go. Montgomery yeah, has not made. Ralph is gonna. Ralph is gonna benefit make the move. Three, two, oh, we got cars oh. pitting. That's it's Washer off. coming in. Washer oh, and Von Schaefer. Schaefer. Oh, oh boy, here we go. Tauger's coming in too oh. with more. So we are going to oh, see some pit hard. stops here. Hard. Does anyone yeah, save yeah. enough yeah. fuel to make it to the end? Anybody on the who's uh, who's pitting? It looks like here go. comes Orman staying out. So Orman's going to go into the wow. transfer spot, uh, pr uh, presumably. But he's going to have no drafting help when they get back out there. Here comes Vanderpesh oh, and uh, Vanderpesh and Rauscher coming in. Delilah Montgomery from the High Lines coming in. That was an what aggressive move. Going? I'm not sure what she was doing. She nearly lost it there on track. And everybody's coming in, so... Except Orman. What is he doing? Is he going to stay after Is win? Orman going to try and win the fried chicken is my question. No, it looks like he's Don't coming in this time. Oh, no, he's coming in. He's coming in. Is... He's looking for a gas and go, though. That's his only shot, maybe. Well, and the other thing, too, is he's not going to have any drafting help either, especially at the 21 and the... Um, well, the 74 is not with the 21, and where's the 31 in all this? The 31 has no drafting help either. So they're all oh, three boy. by themselves. Uh, right now, Brazen oh, wow. it's going to be between Brazenkoff and Ormond right now. Where's Quentin Moore? He was the first one in with that group. Quentin Moore is out on track, I believe, in front of a lot of cars here. Oh, but Quentin Moore might take the lead, or he might be close to Roush. Line. Scott Roush is coming out of the pits. Where is Eric Monaco in all of this? I have not Eric seen him in a while. Stop. Yeah, Monaco's terrible stuff. There wow. he is. So the fried chicken is up for grabs as Christian Vanderpesh has the lead over the lap car of Montgomery and Roush. Here as Christian Vanderpesh is going for the fried chicken, it looks like. Let's look at the elusive twelfth. Orman's coming oh. out of the pits. Here we go. It's on. It's, it's on, on now. On I don't now. know who is running where. We have to wait for the positions to re-up uh, themselves here. So right now the leader is... Vanderpesh with Scott Roush trying to chase him down. Tauger third. Thompson fourth. Fifth is Moore. Sixth is Eric Monaco. Seventh is Miller. Eighth is Von Schaefer. Ninth is Nanico. Tenth is Ratzenberger. Eleventh is Warner. And twelfth is Brazenkoff over Ormond. But Ormond has drafting help from Dunbar. This ain't over yet. It's going to come uh, down the left. Although Dunbar's, Dunbar's got up. speed. Dunbar's going Dunbar's for himself. Dunbar's just OP, right? Well, sort of OP, and there he goes. 
Meanwhile, for the fried chicken! It's Vanderpest. Vanderpest has been passed by Roush! Oh, Roush got Roush! So Roush, coming to the final lap, is going to go for the fried chicken, it looks like, as he comes off of turn four, coming to the white flag. I, I think Roush used Montgomery as a pick. What Must a have used Montgomery as a pick there. As last lap. Last lap for the something. race here. Is there any move here to try and chase down Ivan Brazenkov in 12? It looks like Dunbar is trying to make a run at him. Well, he has face. another lap after this here. As will Vanderpesh have a chance for the fried chicken? I don't think so. I think Scott Roush is going to win the fried chicken. Four. Here he comes through three and four. Scott Roush, Scott Roush comes off the final quarter. He is going to win the fried chicken here for the qualifying <laughs> race. The Baxter qualifying race goes to Scott Roush. And now the big battle here is who is going to get that elusive? Oh man, Nanako's going all over the place. Ooh. Here comes Dunbar. Oh, here he comes. Dunbar oh, is right there. This is for the oh. transfer. Here he He's goes. Move. Here he comes. And Brazenkov. Here goes Chase Dunbar. Dunbar, Dunbar I the think, is going to get it in the Audi. Oh, here they come. Close. They're coming to the line. Chase Thank Dunbar God. is going to get into the race and bump oh, Ivan Brazenkov out. Oh, that was a fantastic move by Chase Dunbar to, on the last lap of the race to get into the American 700. I think Scott Roush needs to owe him a drumstick after that move. Wow, that was a great race. Scott Roush wins the fried chicken. He's going to be so ecstatic for that. We're going to talk to him in a second here. We're going to talk to him in a second here as everybody's coming in. Let's take a look and see who all made it into this race. So Scott Roush makes it. Christian Vanderpetch second. Steven Thompson third. Trek Tauger is in. Moore is in. Monaco is in. Miller is in. Nanico is in. Ratzenberger's in. Von Schaefer is in. Warner is in. And Chase Dunbar on the last lap gets in over Ivan Brazenkov as uh, we wait for some of our staff members to screenshot that result. In order to make sure that um, they get in, the cars going home are Brazenkoff, Orm, and sadly didn't make it, despite that valiant pit strategy effort. Uh, Ace Vito didn't make it. Washer is going home. Campana's going home. Delilah Montgomery's going home. Anderson's going home. Oskin's going home. And Jacob Hart, two laps down, is going home. So, Scott Roush, what do you got to yeah. say? You want the fried chicken. Well, first of all, it's my chicken. <laughs> oh, you're not going to give anything to Dunbar for that? No drumstick? <laughs> no, no, no drumstick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you have a year's supply of it. You can give somebody a I drumstick. I probably will give Dunbar a drumstick. Um, I can't believe I won that. I thought, I thought Vanderpatch had it in the bag. But I got to run all of a sudden. We are going to actually take a look back at that move that you did I on Vanderpush because we did miss it. We did miss it. I got to run. Uh, now, Rush, I did saw you use Montgomery. Montgomery as a pick? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I saw Montgomery coming, and I... Let's take a look kinda, here. I got a little bit... I got enough of a draft to get Let's alongside him, and once I got along... All team, right, here we go. Actually, Montgomery was not a pick. You used Montgomery as no. drafting, really. Yeah. Wow. That was the that was the uh, three car slingshot and qualify with Maverick. I was always um, I was always kind of worried about the Jaguar blowing up, uh, but yeah, uh, yeah. I because the Mercedes has really made Indian. me that way. Uh, I think I think Vanderpesh was caught sleeping there actually. I yeah, Great side I had to, too. I'm Great pretty side sure drafting. he didn't expect me coming because he he thought Montgomery was a bit slower than what she actually was. Um, for once, Montgomery did something right and was a good lap car, uh, but um, so we are. Happy. Oh, we're gonna take a look here, Scott Rush. I want you to take a look at uh, Chase Dunbar's Dunbar. move Dunbar. here. Dunbar. Obviously, you haven't seen it. This is the last. We're coming to the white flag now. You've already made your move here, as uh, this is coming to the white. Ivan Brazenkov is in the transfer position, and you're gonna see how quickly. Uh, Dunbar gets him. gets him here. I'm shocked that Ivan didn't make him make it. You thought I, Ivan was gonna make it? 
I thought Ivan was gonna make it. I saw after I crossed the line, I saw his name. I saw his name up there, and he's like, he's so experienced, he's gonna make it. And then Dumbart did it right. There. He, <laughs> yeah, this he, is he the did. last lap going into turn three here. This is yeah, how Dumbart gets perfect. down here. I thought Raisin Cop was in. Yeah, then he he, he goes right, right there. The shot right by him. That was a great move. That was textbook last lap pass. Super speed. Sean R, do you got anything that. to say about that? What are they, uh, they saying about Denmark? That was just perfect timing by the father and the driver. They both planted that move so perfectly well. Yeah, I got to credit um, the spotter there, that's for sure. That was All my cars made it. All my cars made it. Well, all your team made it. Yes, they did, because Von Schaefer got in, as well as Ratzenberger. Um, we all had doubts about Ratzenberger, too. We didn't, I didn't know how well Ratzenberger was going to do on an oval. Um, are you surprised that your teammate Orman didn't make it? Not really. Well, that's kind of telling, yeah, isn't it? Um... We had a lot of Orman fans. I'm kind of surprised. So. I'm kind of surprised that Chris Washer didn't make it either. Because everything in Arkansas rigged, anyways. I didn't really expect it. <laughs> I am kind of surprised that Chris Washer didn't yeah. make it. I am too. He's one of the more experienced. Jacob Park. Chris Chris Washer. Whoa! One at a time, everybody. All right. What about Chris Washer? Uh, Chris Washer is one of the more experienced people on the grid, so I'm shocked he didn't even make it. Yeah. Let's take a look at the uh, chats, everybody. What are some of the fans saying in the videos or on the ch and fa on social media right now? Any comments right now? How are the Orman fans yeah. doing? Uh, Nathan Ormond's pitch crew screwed him. <laughs> I can't believe. My <laughs> to be fair, to be fair, I'm going to give Orman's crew a little bit of credit here. Orman's crew tried a move. And that's what he needed to do was because his car wasn't as strong as the other three in that group. And they tried something and it didn't work out for him. I think that was a very good yeah. move by the Orman team to at least try brave. something. It was, brave. it was brave. I'll give him that. That was a brave move that they made there. So, Scott, I, you were really concerned about not making it. Are you surprised that it went green the whole 70 laps? Yes, because we went four and five wide and I thought, well, we're going to wreck. And we didn't, and I don't know how we all kept it off of each other. I thought for sure we were going to wreck when Jacob Hart was blowing up, and we didn't. And Because uh, I thought Delilah Montgomery's just going to ram into the back of him, but she didn't. And then we went four wide a few times, and I thought we were gone then. So, I, of course, I backed out. But how much did watching qualifying from the booth really help you out when it came to looking about how the draft was going to work? Scott? It helped a lot. I don't think I would have been able to make my move if I didn't watch how much draft had an effect, because I probably would have given up. Uh, Scott, one thing, this is Vince here from the booth. W what would you say was your car? Did you have that more trimmed out, or was it just more handling and you folks more handling, handling acceleration? Handling? Okay. It just handled well and accelerated well, and there wasn't really much we did. This is actually designed for a. This is designed to draft more than it was to lead, but I figured out it could lead well, so it was. Really How do you good. think your car is going to hold out for the big American 700 race tomorrow? Um. Well, I have. I don't, I don't know. I know I have more experience on track with a uh, big pack of cars than uh, everyone else, but I don't know how it's going to hold out. Maybe Brian and this may end up benefiting me, but I don't know how it's going to hold out yet. Any last comments from everybody before we uh, sign off for tonight? <coughs> no, I got to say, though, Jacob Hart, what could have been, no heartburner is going to be in the 700, and... Uh, Congrats on Chase Bundar, man. That, was, that, that last lap move, that was textbook. And I'm sure all the crew chiefs and all the people watching in the stands and myself, I learned something from that move and how to slingshot in a one-car path. <laughs> I can't all right. All the RMR cars made it. Zachary, do you have anything to say? That was an exciting race, to be honest. I learned a lot from here in the booth. It'll help me out for the 700. Sean, you haven't run an American 700 before. What have you learned from this? 
Well, that what I have learned now for this track that anything can happen, no matter how long the race is, no matter how long it could go for. But tomorrow, I'm gonna. It's gonna be excitement up to the fullest. Can't wait to see what happens. Well, uh, do you think the race will go caution? One last question: Do you think the race will go caution free for the first seventy laps of the race? I'm going to say no, only because we have a full field of 42, and the aggression, I think, is going to be picking up. We don't know. It was it was pretty cloudy today. We don't know what the weather is going to be. Oh, the weather is going to be hotter, according to, uh, going to be really hot, according to uh, reports oh, for tomorrow. Handling. It's going to get Rapid very hot. Setup. You got the setup with the handling, but we'll see. I think handling is going to be key, and another thing is tire management, right? We're going to talk about tire management here and out, so we'll see what happens. But I, th I think we'll see one. We usually get one big wreck in the 700, so we'll get it. When do you think, think the big? Get, we'll, when do you think the big one's gonna? We've only seen one American 700 where I don't think a big one's happened. I think that was the one that Pericles nearly won that Ike Durbin ended up winning. Um, when do you think the big one will happen then? What I'm stage say, of the race? The I'm beginning. Say, yeah, I'm gonna say like second, around second 50, stage. Lap 50. We'll see something happen. That's when it gets really aggressive at that first pit stop. So, uh, with that being said, any final comments before we go, anybody? Piss one? Fuel mileage. Fuel mileage? Always fuel mileage at the end of these races. Rats, I, I think uh, Von Schaefer got in due to his two-tire strategy. Von Sha yeah, Von Schaefer was going to be I out. Just, I heard about that just now, and yeah, it sounds like they're... they're that was a rave call that ended up working because the tires evened out. Uh, that's something you're gonna have to keep. I'm gonna probably have to make note of. Well, with that being said, uh, we're gonna be signing off here now. So, uh, with that being said, good night, everyone. <laughs>